keeping with our every hundred subscriber giveaway uh, and also keeping in tradition with uh, something kind of an everyday carry idea this giveaway is for the columbia river knife and tool iota uh, it's got a little keychain carabiner it's got a box cutter big flathead screwdriver can opener um and a spoon believe it or not you wouldn't you, that comes in super handy and up here it's got a little quarter inch wrench and to throw in your bag uh your car whatever these uh sol survive outdoors longer mini rolls of duct tape so that is the giveaway this time so comment on the video and i'll go through the subscribers subscribe or comment on the video whatever and we will pick a winner next weekend. We'll draw a name and uh, we'll get in touch with you or we'll reply to you in the comments. On, then you'll go to 573 Reviews on Facebook Messenger. Give us your adver address. Blah, I'm having a horrible day. Can't shoot, can't talk. And we will get this sent out to you. Again, I really, really appreciate everybody that has watched and commented and subscribed. It means a lot. And uh, anyway, this is just our way of giving a little something back. Yeah, I think it goes without saying, but it's pretty appreciated. Yeah. It's kind of neat that a couple of people want to watch two hillbillies throw guns and pawns. And... What two hillbillies? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. It's range day for men out here. We've got 245 ACPs. This is a 1911 A1 from Auto Ordnance. Uh, like the name implies, the 1911 was invented in 1911 by John Browning. Um, it was the service pistol for the U.S. military up until the 80s. It's iconic. Uh, there's There's been so many manufacturers make these. The Colt was the original. And then... This is a Glock 21 in 45. It was invented in 2017 at a gay bar in Canada by a guy named Patricia. <laughs> Go ahead and stop. This is my gun, so. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Actually, the first Glock 45 came out in around 1990. Um, it offers a higher capacity than the 1911s. 1911s, they were normally like seven rounds. Uh, the Glock 21 in, usually holds, I think, 12 or 13, but he got the California version here with 10 round mags, and uh, they're great guns. I'm, I'm not, I'll, I'll give him some smack over it, but these are, these are really durable. Uh, several state highway patrols uh, i know some alaskan authorities and stuff like that carry these but anyway we're going to shoot them both at some little targets down there and just see which ones we like better both of these guns will be shooting the remington umc 230 grain ball ammo and he five is gonna sh i'm sorry five yeah rounds. we're gonna shoot five rounds a piece just starting out ready Yep. A little questionable on that one that went up. Nah, that's probably better than I'm going to do today. All right. I'll give it a try with the old 1911. All right. I'll give it a shot with this old 1911. It's got the A1 sights on it, which aren't much, but we'll see what I can get done. Ooh, I about caught myself flinching. Ah, and I flinched again, and it didn't hold back because I was riding a slide stop. All right. Zoom in on that. We'll give them five more rounds. Try it again. I got to get out of this flinch mode. 
Okay, this time Tristan's gonna shoot the 1911. First time. Yep, first time he's ever shot it. I don't know, man. I'm so flinchy today. Flinchy? Yep. Uh, I guess uh, that's a word. Maybe I should stick to the Bud Light gun. <laughs> no, that, I mean, that was your first time. So, that's not awful, though. Okay, I'll shoot that Glock. Uh, the way I'm flinching, I've got to do worse. Sheesh. Gotta keep that together a little bit. Yeah, I'd I'm say so. I'm gonna have to flinch though. All right, we're gonna switch back, do one more, and then we're gonna do a couple, just uh, two as fast as we can, see if we can keep them on target. Okay. Okay, Tristan's back on his Glock, and we're gonna do three rounds slow uh, with each gun, and then we're just gonna fire a couple double taps just to see you know exactly how controllable we can keep them all right that's very respectable yeah all right hopefully i can keep this one together take that yeah I'd take that too I, I am still though boy I, I don't know I'm just not feeling it today um we're gonna do two in each gun now we're gonna do one sight picture two shots fast as we can and just see how that goes with a 45 ACP sounds good now we're gonna do basically just a double tap uh fast as you can All right. uh one sight picture two shots you want me to go from a draw nope Okay. No, just a just a low ready will be low fine. Ready. Yeah. You gonna shoot a ready thread or do I just Nope, just be myself. Whenever you All want right. to. Yeah, just do it. Ugh. Not my best. Well, I mean you seen me flinching earlier. Yeah, I flinched pretty bad. Alright. Well I have to be a multi round test. We'll try the old nineteen eleven now. Alright, nineteen eleven. Two shots, one sight picture? Yep. Alright, on you. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Hey, I did worse. One's mine out of even a circle way down there on the bottom. I'll be honest, I didn't even get a sight picture. <laughs> Two shots, no sight picture, 1911. Awesome. When you have a 45, you don't need a sight picture. Yeah, that's what they say. I tell you what, keep it rolling. We're going to do two more. Yeah, let's see if we can redeem ourselves. Yeah, I'm actually going to line up this time. I'll set the scene. World War II. Yeah, I'd be running. <laughs> On you. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, that's a little better. Not Tighten great, it up though. a bit. Yeah. All right. I'll just hand it off. Load up those last two. <sighs> I am. I'm ready when you're ready. All right. Yeah. Hey, at least you got them like somewhere remote. Mine's still pretty awful. Well, we both put one in the orange, so yeah. thankfully the superior stopping power of a 45. That's about all we need. <laughs> you're trying to start a fight. Okay, what else we gonna do? We're gonna try some blazer brass i know his glock will shoot him i'm kind of curious to see what the old 1911 will do um i tell you what let's do the let's do the double tap again i mean that's kind of why people move to that nine millimeters because it shoots so flat so ready yep 
On you, I'm just sitting here holding the camera. Wasn't in the orange, but I put two next to them. Yep. I'll take it. Yeah, they're in a circle. Locked back and everything. Same thing, 1911. On you. Two shots, basically two. one sight picture. This time I gotta get a sight picture. Let me zoom in here. Locked back though, it runs at it runs at aluminum case stuff, okay? Yeah. Alright. Go ahead and stop that. Alright. Come up with something else. Okay. I just wanna see. If 1911 can handle a little bit of dirt and schmutz in it. I'm going to shake this stuff out, hopefully. Nope, oh, there's still quite a bit in there. Alright, let's see if it'll work though. That's it, worked just fine. I still got one more. Are you ready? One more. And it locked back. Hmm. That's not the worst that you could torture a gun dropping rocks and dirt in it. But uh, I think it says a lot for a design this old. I think if somebody wants to see the worst you can torture a gun, we got a couple videos on the channel that they could go watch. Yeah. Right. Want to do it to the Glock? Sure. All right. Let me load uh, let me load three rounds up here real quick. Okay. I'll just keep it rolling. Okay. What are your thoughts so far, I guess, while we're doing this? Honestly, the the they're about the same size except the 1911's a lot heavier <clears throat> and the Glock is considerably thicker. Which I think that thickness on the grip does help with recoil some. But they're both nice. You do get that added capacity with the Glock. And I mean, it's a Glock. Uh, we all know that they're reliable. Uh, I'm gonna shake that out too before we start shooting. There's no reason. Yeah, there's still a lot in there though. All right, uh, I got three rounds just like before. I'm gonna shoot these on your target. Yep. Oh no, the trigger is dead as crap, man. There's a rock in there. Uh-oh. Hang on. <sighs> no, it's just one of the more rocks got in there. Okay. Yeah, I was pulling on that thing as hard as I could. All right, let's go again. The trigger's reset this time. And it locked back. Awesome. Now that that's not a bad thing. Th those little pebbles got in behind the trigger and didn't let the trigger reset, but shook it a couple times. Like I said, that's not really that bad. You want to take them up to the pond? We'll take them up to the pond. But boy, you got I string? <laughs> I do. I do. I just don't know if I feel like cleaning that much today. I don't know. I think they're both nice. Uh, but I do like 1911, and I like these older styles, even though the sights are crappy, um, and my eyes are starting to get older, and I'm starting to shake a lot more with age, but I do like this gun. It's uh, It's been around a long time. They're still going. Then again, though, I don't think anybody can argue with Glock's reputation. Uh, it's my, it, it hasn't been around since 1911, but... You see more of these in, in holsters of people that carry a gun for a living. So that says a lot. But go ahead and we're going to stop this and think of something. We're, we'll decide whether we want to get them wet today or not. Okay, we can't decide which one's best. So we brought it up here to the pond. Um, we're going to tie a string on them, throw them out there, drag them across the old muddy bottom. Then we're going to turn around and shoot them. <clears throat> just like last time uh, we've got five in the mags nothing in the chambers we're gonna drag them in rack them 
attempt to shoot them. So we're going to pause this while I tie the Glock up and we'll be right back. Okay, we will chuck this bad boy out there, let it sink. Bounce it across the bottom. I have no doubt that the Glock's gonna come out of there just ready to roll. My 1911, on the other hand, I'm thinking it's quite a bit heavier. It's gonna sink in that mud a lot more. All right. Okay, let's rack one in there and give it a go. back and I don't know if you can see that but it is full of gunk well we like to see that <laughs> okay now we're gonna do the 1911 we'll pause this we'll get it all tied up sounds good okay got five in the mag none in the chamber got it tied on here and I forfeit <laughs> no I'm teasing I'm gonna give this thing a good chucking you ready I'm ready Ooh. Yep, it is sinking in the mud. It's considerably heavier than your 21. We just need to start letting other people send them or send us their stuff. Nope, I wouldn't do this to nobody else's stuff. <clears throat> that sounds like a beggar. Oh. Okay. Looks like you caught something. Yep. I'm ready. Five rounds. And, and it locked back. Yeah, and it locked back. All right. I'll take that. So do we know which one's better or no? No. They're both awesome, whichever one you like. If you've got one, be happy with it. They're both excellent. Awesome. Let's get back down to the range. Yeah. Well, they both went in the pond. They both did excellent. Uh, they it, both look horrible. Yeah, yeah, the insides are pretty gunked up. Uh, we actually did the pond test with uh, Blazer Aluminum. So, uh, it did all right, too. They're both great. Uh, if you've got the 21, you've got a nice 45 with high capacity. If you've got the 1911, you've got a classic and it seems like it's a lot more reliable than people on the internet say. Um, I don't know. We've thrown rocks in them. We've thrown them in the pond. They're great. I I like mine. He likes his. That's what you. That's what everybody ought. You, you ought to be proud of what you have. Uh, there's no problem in you know wishing for something that you see in a newest gun magazine or YouTube video, but shoot what you have be proficient with what you have i'm not as proficient with this 1911 as i am a, a nine millimeter either shadow systems or uh m p 2.0 what have you or glock 19 but i like it and uh i'll probably never be in a situation where i need to shoot as fast as john wick or anything like that i hope not anyway if i do i probably won't have this gun i'll probably have a 380 in my pocket but anyway, I, I don't know. Uh, they both did good. They both shot well. They both perform excellent when filthy. So, I picked the 1911. You picked the 21, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, and that's that's how you should be, uh, whoever's watching this video. If you, if you have it, like it. Be happy with it. Thanks for watching.